So let's do three short experiments. I'm going to explain what these lines of code do. Then we're going to create a second drawing turtle. And then I'm going to show you how to use a while loop, which is kind of like the do while loop that you learned before. Um, we're going to use the while loop to repeat series of commands to make more interesting shapes. All right, so when we press play, here's what it looks like. It looks like a green line. And what's actually happening is the following. Uh, when you write an ordinary program, you know how it looks for public static void main, and that's how it, the computer knows where to start running. Well, when we're in this graphics framework, it looks for public void setup. So this first line here is where the code starts running from. This size gives us the size of the window that we want to start with. So it's 600 pixels by 600 pixels. But if we wanted to make it um, wider than it is tall, I could make it 1,000 pixels by 600 pixels. And now when I run it, we've got this nice wide aspect ratio. It looks great. All right. No loop uh, is, I'm not going to tell you what that means right now. Background, this is setting the background color. So you can put a number between 0 and 255. 0 would make the black co background color black, like this. Oh, that looks nice. Um, and then 255 is white. So I'm going to make it something like, I don't know, maybe 100, which will be dark gray. Yeah, that looks great. OK. So this is the key part. This pattern is a very important pattern to know. You know that the equal sign means take what's on the right, save it inside what's on the left. So we have this variable called yurtle. Well, what data type is yurtle? Is it an integer? Is it a string? Well, if you look up here to where we're declaring it, if it were an int, it would say int yurtle. If it were a string, it would say string yurtle. But what it actually says is turtle yurtle. So the idea is, Turtle is a kind of object, and objects can be data types. So yurtle is a variable that holds a special kind of thing called a turtle. And this part where I say new turtle, this is what actually creates the turtle that gets saved inside this variable. You might wonder what this is. We'll come back to that a different time. So once you've created the turtle, you can give it commands. And the way that you give it commands is this pattern. You have the variable that holds the turtle, and then a dot, and then the name of the command. So yurtle.forward makes it go forward. Yurtle.turn right makes it go right. And if you type yurtle dot, and then you wait for a second, you can see all the other things that yurtle can do. So down here, we've got not just turn right, but you see we also have turn left. We have set x and set y, which set its x and y coordinates. Um, set direction, we'll set the angle that it's facing at, and so on. Let's do set thickness. I'm going to set the thickness to 3, um, which will make it draw a thicker line. But actually, I want to do that before I draw any of the lines. So I'm going to set the thickness to 3 here. And now when I run it, you see that the line is a little bit thicker. If I set the thickness to 6, the line will be even thicker. All right, so let's make a second turtle. So if I'm going to make a second turtle, I need another variable that's a turtle data type. So I'm going to copy this up here, and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to have another turtle, which I will call Myrtle. Myrtle. So it doesn't actually have a turtle inside it yet. It's just a variable that could be holding a turtle. So now, like right here, I created a turtle. I'm going to create another turtle called Myrtle equals new turtle, this. All right, well, I'm going to have Yurtle draw some stuff first. And then down here, I'm going to have Myrtle draw some stuff. So I'm going to say Myrtle. Um, I'm going to have Myrtle turn first. So I'll say Myrtle dot turn right by 160 degrees. And then I'll say Myrtle dot forward by 400. And let's run it and see what happens. So this line is drawn by Yurtle, because Yurtle goes forward 100 and turns right by 90 degrees. So now Myrtle's, sorry, so now Yurtle's facing down, but it hasn't moved yet. Myrtle started at the same place in the middle, but Myrtle turned right by 160 degrees, so now Myrtle's facing that way, and then went forward by 400, so went way off there. So that's a good way to have multiple turtles doing multiple things at once, just if you want to. All right, so let's make another change. I'm going to leave Myrtle where it is. And I'm going to have Yurtle repeat things. 
Okay, I'm going to create an integer called counter, and I'm going to say while counter is less than four, and I'm going to put an opening curly brace here and a closing curly brace there. So I'm going to repeat these two commands, forward and turn right, and I'm going to do them as long as the counter is less than four. Okay, well, if I run this right now, it's going to get stuck in an infinite loop. And the reason why is because counter is zero. I say, if it's four, keep looping. And then I'm doing these things, but I'm never adding to the counter. So the counter is just always going to be zero. So it's always going to be smaller than four. So inside here, I'm going to say counter equals itself plus one. So that's going to add one to my counter. So now it should loop four times. The first time through counter is zero. Then I add one. So the next time through counter is one, and then two, and then three. And then at the end of the third loop, I'll add one, counter will be equal to four, it'll see that counter isn't less than four because it's equal to four, and then it will exit. So now when I run it, we get this nice box because we repeated forward and turn right four times. So it did it once, twice, three, four times. Let me show you one last thing, which is how to change the color that a turtle leaves behind. So I'm going to change Myrtle's color right before Myrtle draws things. So I'm going to say Myrtle dot set color. And then inside the parentheses here, we need to make a new color. And here's how we do that. We say color, and then we give it three numbers separated by commas. So in here, color, and then three numbers. The first number is how much red. The second number is how much green. The third number is how much blue. And it will mix that amount of red, green, and blue together to make the color. So here I've mixed all red, no green, no blue. So that should set Myrtle's color to be red. And if I run the program, we see that Myrtle has now left a red line. If I want to set it to some amount of red and then some green and a little bit of blue, now I've got this sort of brownish color. So you can experiment, but what you need to know is each of these colors, um, zero means none of the color, 255 means all of that color. So you can't put a number larger than 255. Okay, good luck. Make some cool stuff.